Hello, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time visiting, my name is Teacher Audrey. The past few days I have been working on, oh, actually, the past few months and weeks, I've been working on decluttering and simplifying my VIP Kid classroom. It has been quite the journey but I am so excited I did the last part and I got rid of all my paper clutter that was that filled this drawer completely and I feel so freed so today I decided I would walk through and show you my new setup and I hope you enjoy it and I hope this inspires you to get rid of some of the clutter in your classroom so let's see okay so I teach from a standing desk and I use my dresser and then I have a bookshelf and some drawers to um, have everything at arm's length and so I don't have to bend down and grab anything so to start off I have my grammar props that helps cue the students to use articles um, this that these those Yes, no, um, question marks, and then, oh, and of course, the S, because that seems to be a sound that the students always drop, um, and our, and the magic E. Then I have my scissors, a lighter, some markers. Then here I have my question cards. What I use for rewards, um, which is a dice, a party blower, those, and then two different types of stars. Then here I have balloons, my passport, money, an old debit card, and candles. And then this I have of my food. Then I have my fidget spinner, my heart for like. Um, I have the guitar that I use during the singing part. Then over to the left, I have my different people and I just use cutouts. I used to have dolls, but that took up so much room. I have a flower and um, paintbrush. And then I have Meg and Mike and Dino. Then I have, I also have Three monsters, um, this can that I use for drums, cylinder, musical instrument, um, black, blue. Then I go, and I decided on here, I used to have a box, but then I found everything got just kind of added to it, and it just got lost in the clutter, so I decided I wasn't going to have um, anything like in boxes on this top shelf. And then my, I have this basket, um, and it has the bookcase, table chair, a doll, an egg shaker, and then I have rock paper, magnifying glass, a lot of paper, a yo-yo, and a mouse, and a piece of candy. And all these things I find multiple uses for. Then I have all my um, level one characters in this basket. So it's easy to just come in and grab. And I try to keep them um, sorted from level one or unit one to unit 12 for easy access. Then all these drawers. I am so happy if you watched my first video. Um, all these drawers are ba -ba 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 -ba, empty. Props that I use um, for visual aids. And again, here's my, here are my alphabet cards. And I have different flashcards and um, items that I use. My teacher name tag um, in the bottom ones. Then on here I have Teacher Audrey, um, my magnetic board, some student stuff, and my calendar. And I have this set up um, 
to use as my backup background in case my green screen or my computer isn't working. Um, I can just turn my desk or turn my computer and put it on the bookshelf and do it from there. So then over here I have my dyno that I use for blending a lot with level two, sometimes with early level three. I have my photos. Um, I have my star. And then I have dry erase boards. Or the diaper box as a, um, to make an extra shelf so I don't have as much wasted space. I have my clapper. I have two books, a thick book and a thin book. Um, I have my numbers. Then I have my Meg, Mike, Dino, and Monkey sitting up here. On this shelf, I have my leveled reading props that I use for every reading class. And then I have my resource book that I have different charts. Um, if kids are having a hard time understanding what feelings are, I can hold this up and we can walk through and talk about the feelings and they can see that each of those happy, sad are feeling. And then I have this basket and I have um, my whale, my colors. I have um, a dolphin, a shark, and a whale, and then I have a cup. Then on this last shelf, I have feathers and um, stuff for the animal units, definitely for um, level th three. And then this is my note card box, which I am hopefully in the future going to tell you why I no longer use this system and give you a better system for preparing for class. So this is so exciting. It's made cleanup so much easier. Um, at the end of class, I usually just have one or two objects to stick back and I try to put everything back as I go. So I hope you find this helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments. Thanks. If you liked today's video, I would really appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Please let me know if there's anything else you would like me to share. Thanks and have a great day.